dancers! Ming again. Today's topic is the parts of your point shoe. So, I noticed that a lot of dancers don't know the parts of their point shoe, including my students. So, you can actually Google these things, girls. Sometimes you just have to go on the internet and Google these things. But let's say I'm going to explain it today, the important parts that you need to know. So, I actually, of course, don't memorize every single part of your point shoe, but it's always important to know the things you need, especially when you're about to fit your point shoes. Usually, you ask me why there are letters on your uh, on your point shoe when you buy them. Sometimes you can choose the hardness and the softness of the shoe, um, the vamp, of course, and then the heel, and of course the inseam and things like that. Things are actually really important, especially when you're buying your first pair of point shoes. Now, teacher's pair is something that is pro flex, so it depends for per shoe. So you're going to have to search which shoe type is best suited for your feet. There are really shoes that are best suited for certain types of feet. Let's say your feet are Greek feet. Greek feet is when your second toe is really bigger. I thought this is really weird. So this is the Greek feet. Now if your feet are not Greek feet, flat one, I forget their names, but there's one that's flat on all toes. And of course, there's one where your toe is bigger. So we all have different types of feet and there are shoes really made for certain types of feet. So you should watch it when you're, when you're trying on point shoes, which shoe fits you best. So the parts of the shoe, let's start. This is your vamp. So most from here to here is called your vamp. Now, why is it important to know the vamp of your shoe? If you have longer toes, you actually need a higher vamp to support more of your foot. Then, the, this is your box. You'll know it's the box. You know, this is the box. It's like it's shaped almost like a box. It's called a box. It's important to know this because you need a wider box for wider feet, of course, and then a smaller box for more narrow feet. So you have these options that you can choose from and you can ask the dancer, can I get a wider box or a smaller box? And they should be able to understand what you need. So, well, they also call this the... Yeah. This is the sole. So usually you can pick the hardness of the sole also. Now it depends per shoe how they, of course the mechanism inside or where the hardness lies. Again, you can search for videos about this. So different types of hardness or different types of feet. Now why do we need different types of uh, hardness? Let's say it's a medium hardness. Usually it's already folding towards the middle. And if you're getting the hard ones, Usually, it doesn't fold until the end. Now, each one of us has a different arch or have different arches. So, you'll know that when you look at the shoes. So this is a used shoe. So, this is around the area where my arch falls. So, we all have different feet, right? So, mine is a bit uh, towards the top. There are girls, of course, towards here, the middle. And there are girls who have lower, uh, closer down to their feet. The arches are closer down there. So you should observe where your arch falls also so you know what type of hardness of shoe you would need. And of course the heel, you'll also need to um, know if you need a higher or a lower heel. Now this is what causes your shoe to slip off while you're dancing sometimes. It's because you get a heel that's too low for you. You need a higher heel to get that support on your heel. And then of course, here's the side seam. And these are what you call the wings. So this is what I feel are the most important parts of your shoe and of course your insole. So that when you're buying point shoes, you're not clueless about whether you need a higher vamp, a bigger box. A good tip um, for myself, uh, for, for you, if you're fitting point shoes for the first time and your teacher cannot come, is to make sure you're able to go on top of the box here. I noticed a lot of the girls who try, they don't get on the box and they'll fit the shoe and it would look like this. That's not how it should look like. You should be able to go on top of your toes properly like this. 
okay? So on top of the box all the time. You can really always request for higher vamps, higher, uh, bigger boxes, higher heels, and if it's not available, try looking through the shoe closet and just try every single shoe. Now different stores have different um, quantities of shoes. I understand like here in Manila, we don't have uh, all kinds of point shoes and it's really difficult to source point shoes that you want. For example, my Grishka Pro Flex, I cannot buy here in Manila because they don't have my size and the size that I want customized for myself. So I hope you learned something new from this vlog. Let me know what else you would like to hear or learn and point shoes are very important so don't wear bad point shoes. It's not good to wear bad point shoes. And I hope you learned something new. Click the like button and subscribe and let me know what else you want to hear.